Hey Utah! Matt here with Maple Mountain Fireplace. Today we're going to install a G3. This is for the change out program here in Utah. We are cleaning up the air and we're taking out the old dirty wood burners, cutting the door off, recycling, and we're going to do a chimney cleaning, run the venting, the full installation, gas hookup, the whole setup. All right, so we are removing the old stove. We're just taking out some fire brick to lighten it up a little bit, make it easier to remove and load in the truck. We're just gonna dolly it right out and load it on the truck. We'll give it a thorough cleaning and get any debris. So this is required by the state to cut the hinges off the door and recycle. All right, so here we are up on the top of the chimney. I don't know how many of our competitors do this, but we are cleaning the chimney, just brushing it all the way up and down, giving it a good cleaning. So now that we've got a good clean chimney, we are gonna measure to see how much venting we need, about 25 feet, and that's a typical length for venting. Here's our three inch flex venting. We're just gonna stretch that out to the 25 feet that we need. So we've got two pipes here. This is direct vent. One is for exhaust. The other is for combustion air. Here we're putting some paint so we know which is which. One's the exhaust and one's the combustion air. We need to be able to tell which one when we drop them down the chimney. So we've got some high temperature sealant. We're just gonna put a few screws to hold it in there. And now we're just gonna bring it up on the roof and drop it down the chimney. So we've got a little rope that's gonna allow us to grab onto that to help guide the pipe down inside the chimney and around the damper. All right, so once we've got the venting down inside, the flashing will just cover the top on the chimney and we're gonna silicone it really good and lay the flashing down nice and flat. Here we have the gas line. It's already in the firebox. We are just going to get these elbows pointed in the right direction and install a flexible line inside the firebox. So here we've got our connector plate for the top of the venting. You can see it's labeled exhaust on the right, fresh air is on the left. We are putting our high temp sealant around it and we're going to attach it with a stainless steel band. So now we've got them both connected. We're gonna slide the fireplace in, putting the gas in through the side along with the vent plate and the venting for the top of the fireplace and that slides in the little grooves. Now we're connected. So now we're gonna add the shutoff valve to the gas line and connect that to the control valve in the fireplace. So here we've got our batteries. For the remote control, it needs a nine volt battery. The other little black box there, that is our receiver. That takes four AA batteries. So these batteries will last a full year. And we are pushing the little button to sync the remote with the receiver. The receiver goes back underneath the fireplace. And now we wanna bleed out the gas line. We're turning on the other valve that's inside the firebox and we just want to bleed it out and get all the air out of the line. So now we've got the venting and the gas line hooked up. We are going to install the trim and the front, the liners and the log. This is the new driftwood log set for the G3. And here we've got all the media installed and time to put the glass back on the fireplace and give it a test fire. All right, let's talk about the fireplace. This is the G3 gas insert from Valor. It is direct vent. We have the matte black front with the driftwood logs and a fluted black liner. The trim on this is just the basic black trim. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed our video. 
we're all done. We're going to take off. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a like. Any comments or questions, we'll answer them right away. Thanks for watching.